I got your brochure that you sent us, and I reread it. And what's nice about it is everything you said in it could happen and will happen, and it did happen. And uh, so it's very fun. The facilities is yours for the week. Tell us what your interests are. Treat us like family. Well, we felt like family here, and the staff here is just incredible. I don't know how you pulled it all together, Richard. Must be your just your old charm, because you, you 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 certainly know how to charm the fish. But uh, it's really wonderful. I mean, we just we're so comfortable. That's that's the one thing about this camp is when you come here, that all you have to do is bring your luggage, bring a good fish attitude, and they take care of the rest. Good one, good one. Doubles. Doubles. I'll hold you yeah, pole. Yeah. 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 Work them up. Work them up. Work them up, Dad. Wow. Nice, nice yeah. fish, so Dad. Oh, oh, it's a nice shower, Dad. <laughs> Look at he's sitting down. He's exhausted. <laughs> he's <laughs> he's exhausted. Oh, oh. oh let them line up. Not too much. Do the thing if you can. I got my Careful. finger on. You got your finger on. Okay. Look it back. All right. Big hog. What? Oh! All right. We gotta get it. You gotta get out of that corner, man. Woo! Tell me how. <laughs> yeah, Dad. <laughs> That's what you come to Alaska for. The halibut. It's nap time. Oh, look at that. I got something on here, I think. Look at that. Look at that man. Cigar. Give that man a cigar, he says. Dad. Nice one! Well, again, you, you know, you fly into Juneau. It's a lovely place. And it does, uh, the surroundings of Mark. It, 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 it's better than other places. I mean, I was in Anchorage, and it's not quite as nice as this place. <laughs> and then you, uh, only 20 minutes, you get out, and you're gone into the wilderness. And it's all yours. So what is the major difference between fishing in, you know, like a, a freshwater lake type environment? This is your first saltwater. First saltwater. The big difference is big. Big, <laughs> my yeah. Second, it's my <laughs> second day in on this trip, uh -huh. and I had a 65-pound halibut, uh -huh. just like that. It's the largest fish I've ever had in my life. Uh -huh. It had a fight of a lifetime, uh -huh. way down deep, about 300 feet. Boom, it's on like this. You set the hook, you reel it up, the point goes down, the line goes out, and it was just a thrill. All right, Zach. Barn door. Pull that baby. Yeah. Yeah, look at that one. Look Good at the fish. size of Good him. Fish. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And finally, finally, <laughs> Zach's about to go. You don't know who's got who, the fish or you. And uh, I finally brought that thing in, flopping it from <laughs> head to my toes, that fish. And that's something I'll never forget. Wow! Whoa, nice it's rocking the boat! <laughs> Halibut! Take the line. Nice one, Zach. <laughs> oh, man! Oh, my! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Look at that! <laughs> you got slime! You got slime! My baby! <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Dr. <laughs> oh. High five. All right, that's good. Nice job. All right. Ha! Yeah! First stop. I don't know, Richard, that's all right. You never know what you're always going to bring you up. You never know. You never know. Never. I brought up the rock fish of the week, and it was just, it was, you know, just an amazing fish that come down from that that deep of the ocean. We're a rock fish. Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it ain't hell of it, but that's a hell of a fish. <laughs> it's a hell of a rock bass. Rock fish. Rock fish. Alaska. Oh. A little bit of everything. Other side of the boat. Oh. All of a sudden, we had three of the of the rockfish we on, with four it, four on the down. first cast, and we're all screwing around, bring them up, look at them. They're, one's different from the other. They all look kind of funny. And they threw them in the bucket, put them down That's again. Right. Boom! In in 15 minutes, I think it was 15, 20 minutes, we had it limited out on cod. We had a cooler full of fish. And it's not the premier fish up here, but I tell you what, it was. We had it later in the week, steamed with a glaze of uh, onions and soy, and it was one of the best tasting fish I ever had. Yeah. That's six fish right, in five minutes. <laughs> That'll work. Doesn't pay attention. Yeah, easy there. Yep. Oh, there no. That's a good one. Yeah. These are good, right? Good yeah. eating. Mm -hmm. And what type of fish is that again, Richard? This is a dusky. dusky. And we have silver grays, dusky, and fullbacks. So watch the board. Good one, Zach. We're going to be out, though. Are we just going to no. go? This is exciting fishing. <laughs> Every cast out here. <laughs> the lure can't even hit the bottom. A fish. Throwback. It's a throwback. Quillback. Oh, quillback. <laughs> See the quills on there? Yeah. Uh-huh. Nice one, Theo. Like a Kentucky bass, right there. That's nice. It's so fast. You didn't have to wait six hours to catch it. As fast as you put your lure down, <laughs> you can get one of these babies. Huh? Yeah. Nice one, Dad. Snagged him. Wow. Oh, I want my picture that with that one. one. Whatever works. Okay. Uh -huh. Get that out of my way. Dad, <laughs> 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 look at you. I've been on a lot of water, and uh, often we. All you do is bounce, 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 bounce like this. But these are smooth riding boats. Closer? Nope. Okay. <laughs> silver on a silver day. Whoa! 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 You the man, Dad. Yeah. You the man. <laughs> and I'm not that much, but you know, th this place made me a fisherman, mm -hmm. and um, I think I kept up with those kids pretty well. So that's How's pretty retired life, Dad? Huh? I taught those boys how to fish. <laughs> so I had to, you know, keep up with it. Nice about it is you've got all the good equipment. You don't have to bring your fishing poles or your bait. Right. And it's all there. And that's complicated to think about. I'm going to go fishing. What do I take? What kind of bait to have? It's all here. It's all here. Right. What, the, the eagle story you talked about, that's another example of the, of the wildlife up here. That <coughs> eagle we saw it swoop out of the tree. And we thought it was going away and it just kept coming right towards the boat. And not 10 feet from the boat, maybe five feet. He swoops down, puts Huge out both chance. his claws, boom, and then he's off. Wow. <laughs> and the one thing you do notice are the talons. They're, you know, this long, yellow yeah. scales, big, doom, and lock on that fish. We, and we were that close to see him lock right on. That's the great thing about that's the great thing about this camp. A lot of times you go to a fishing camp or something, and you're just right here on an island, and all you got or you're back in the woods, or you're at the stream somewhere, and everything's just very limited. So mm -hmm. here you got you got the deep sea for the halibut, 
He's got trolling for the uh, salmon, silver salmon, king salmon. And then, like Ted says, then you can come back to the lodge and there's a, you can walk <laughs> on a path or you can go out to the shore. What I like right. about I, coming back to the lodge you know, was that wonderful meals. Yeah. Uh, Epicurean oh. delight. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, there were some meals here that I've never tasted before. Just delicious. Breakfast that way, had lunch on the boat. What, what more could you have? You I, know? I run a restaurant in San Francisco, and I, I was extremely impressed with the food. <laughs> the service was excellent. And I actually tried to hire away the staff. I said, anytime you're in San Francisco, <laughs> I watch you. Because <laughs> they're had, good. I had a lot and of And the firsts. quality, uh, quality yeah. of the meals are excellent. And some of the variety. Uh, the variety. I had a lot of firsts. First time eating a crab, a, a whole crab. that, And, and it was just a wonderful meal. Steamed fish. That. Crab for dinner. A crab from Alaska. Let's see what's for dinner. Gotcha. Okay. Foil that rope for you. It's good. All right. Here we go. Oh, I love crab. I love oh, crab. Right. Okay. Oh, crab. Yeah. Oh, this is crab. Look at that. Get oh, the bucket. Want, get the bucket. I want right, the bucket. Separate the males from the females, right? Yeah, there's a few. Let's go. All right. There you go. Oh, look at those big. Look at that. That is some fresh crab. Fresh crab. Are they all done? Yeah. Ready to roll? Steamed. 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 They're ready. Everything. Let's get things in the kitchen. Come on. Yeah. Hey, Kim. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Thanks, Kamiko. Oh, thank you. Look at that. You're welcome. Nice. Thank you. Okay, butter, good. There's a little butter. Soft part, soft. What's that? What's that? What's that? Yeah. What's that? Yeah. Mm. Do it with your fingers. Hi, ho, the Mary. Oh, we want to cook for me. Nice ultra light, light tackle. And that's a lot of fun too. I, I enjoy that. I like the the variety of fishing that we had. Yeah, that was a big event. When we brought in the catch of the day, we would all line up and they'd line the fish up on the on the board and we'd all stand back. The, colors, and, uh, the greens and the blues and the all black. The salmon, the variety, the salmon, the silvers. And then the pinks. And you get a choice. You want the fillets, you want it in the round, you want it the way you're going to prepare the fish. And it's almost like a production line fishing down there. We were done for the day, but I'd like to, I'd like to stay down there and watch them uh, chop, cut, you know, and cut it up, fillet it. It's a great production line down One there. One day we caught a bunch of fish all day. But that same day, we saw orca. We saw porpoise. We saw Pump whales, up, humpback. humpback whales. Got bubble feeding whales. They bubble came up, they ate whales, break up through the surface all at one time. It was an amazing sight. Yeah! Yeah! But if you're fishing and your line's down there and a whale comes up close to you, you have to pull your lines in and just be respectful as well, but you can't really move out of there that fast. And so, consequently, we got a little bit closer uh, to a whale than uh, anybody I know. Whale. 
I have a teacher friend that came back from Alaska with just all excited about her whale shots, and I saw fins about this big. I said, those are nice. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these. <laughs> <laughs> I got some whale shots, and uh, it, it, it tripled a lifetime. I'm experiencing, you know, the, the, the thrill of a lifetime, and I'm not even fishing yet. I'm watching whales. You know, I, my brothers are my brothers are, are big sportsmen. They do a lot of hunting. They do a lot of fishing. I'm in San Francisco. I'm kind of the city slicker of this bunch. But I'll tell you what, if you look at the chart here, oh, <laughs> after, after the week is said and done, Big Brother here caught city more slicker. fish than any of the other brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, you don't have to have a whole lot of experience. Uh, the skipper will take care of that. He's very helpful. And as you can see, the, the results are right there on paper. We're taking home fish. I mean, that's, I mean, that's something you should think about before you come up is lining up the freezer space. Empty your freezer You're talking 150 you pounds of fish. All of a sudden, it's not just going to fit right in your old home thing. That's, that's one really, thing you might want to do. Line up your freezer space before freezer. you come. Yeah, well, that's the only because thing you didn't you put down back, there. You need to know where you're going to keep your fish yeah. because there's, there's going to be a quantity of fish. Let's put him in the fish bucket. He's going home with me.